What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so as some of you will recall from one of my previous news updates, I showcased and talked about how the upcoming Razorcrest LEGO set will include a code that players will be able to input in this game to unlock the Mandalorian ship from the Disney Plus series. And sometime after I made that video, Warner Brothers Games officially announced that additional upcoming LEGO sets will also include similar codes that players will be able to input in this game to unlock even more digital items. Which brings me to this next image. So as you can see here, the back of the box of the upcoming AT-AT LEGO set features yet another sticker which highlights this game. Only this time it just says play it in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Unlike the sticker for the game that was found on the Razorcrest LEGO set which said find the secret code to unlock the ship. Now personally this all leads me to believe that the AT-AT LEGO set will not include a code to redeem the vehicle for use in this game, as it will likely already be unlockable through normal in-game progression. And the sticker that does say play it in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga could simply be referring to the fact that players will be able to play through the Battle of Hoth, which is a scene from The Empire Strikes Back that this set is obviously highlighting. So that would make sense, especially since this set includes the exact same at, -AT and Snowtrooper design that also features on the game's official new box art. Now before I wrap up this video, I'd just like to take this news as an opportunity to explain my theory about the Razor Crest ship's exclusivity and hopefully put some minds at ease. Because when I last talked about this vehicle, I mentioned how WB Games officially revealed that redeeming the code which is included in the LEGO set will be the only way for any player to be able to unlock the ship for use in this game, and that there are currently no plans for it to be unlockable without the secret code or through the use of downloadable content. And this led to people in the comments section to just start panicking like crazy as they thought that they would have to buy the Razor Crest Lego set just to be able to unlock the ship for use in this game. But personally, I don't think this will be the case at all because if it's not a DLC code that is included in the box, then it simply has to be a cheat code. So I see it being universal more than anything, meaning that every Razor Crest Lego set box will include the exact same code that every player will be able to input in this game. Similar to how players were only able to unlock Savage Press as a player character in Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars with a cheat code that to this day obviously still works and that's just one example and I'm sure the same will apply to the Razor Crest ship in this game but of course we will just have to wait and see. Alright so that's pretty much it for this video so I want to thank you all very much for watching stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga then please be sure to like comment and subscribe.